Hi everyone, I just wanted to get everyone's um, or as many people's opinion about this as possible. Um, what is in the works here is that this Lemon Longton Bristlenose Pleco, along with these three Denizen Barbs, are going to be gone soon. And there are some, there's another channel by the name of Aquadiction out of the United Kingdom that I am, I've been big fans of their channel for a long time and uh, we talk a lot and they can, they said that they can see me having some peacock gudgeons. They, they've seen my tanks, um, they kind of know what kind of fish I like and what kind of setups that I have and they said that they could really see me um, enjoying some peacock gudgeons and so I'm just making a video and saying hey look I've got some angelfish they expressed a little concern about these angelfish um, um, which I can certainly understand now I do have 18 neon tetras so you wouldn't necessarily think neon tetras with angelfish as well particularly with that that's the biggest angelfish that tricolor I've had him the longest these two blue zebra angelfish they have had them um, probably about three months less than what I had him. Um, so anyway, I bought 18 Neon Tetras after these were already in here and they were all of decent size and I still have 18 Neon Tetras. Uh, now peac uh, Peacock Gudgeons get to be, a, be about, um, about three inches. I haven't done a whole lot of research on them yet. I'm just doing this because everybody seems to love this Christmas moss. Um, I'm just, so I'm just checking out to see what everybody else thinks about possibly adding, say, five peacock gudgeons in here. Let's say four females and one male. Um, or what, what do you think might be a good mix there? And to see if this tank can handle it and whether or not you think the peacock gudgeons will go with these angelfish. Because um, I think they will. Like I said, the, the neon tetras have survived and the, the peacock gudgeons will, as long as they don't come in too small because uh, I order, do, I do order fish online most of the time. As long as they don't come in too small, then that won't be a problem. Um, but the peacock gudgeons, if they come in really small, then I, I fear that the angelfish might might go after them. Um, so it might be a better idea to where I, I go to, go into a, a local fish store, actually see the size themselves. I had a horrible problem with that one time. ordered 30 cardinal tetras when I first set up this tank. And this tricolor angel, they came in so small they, they should have been illegal to ship that small, the 30 cardinal tetras that I bought. This guy ate them all in a matter of days. That was over $100 worth of fish. That, that was an expensive snack. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to get everybody's idea about whether or not you think this tank can handle, particularly with the, um, with the angelfish, considering the denizen barbs and the lemon longfin bristlenose pleco will be gone um, if this tank can handle let's say five, a group of five peacock gudgeons. They do have some natural hiding spaces like underneath here. Um, there are a couple of caves back in here. Uh, so let me know. That is all for now, guys. Hope to speak to you soon. Have a great rest of the day.